CFL Live. Today's game from Commonwealth Stadium in Edmonton. The Toronto Argonauts versus the Edmonton Eskimos. Hello everyone and welcome to CFL Control. I'm Darren Detish and we hope you're having a great Canada Day and what better way to celebrate our nation's birthday than a good old fashioned football game. The Argos and the Eskimos are as old as the league itself and even though the CFL has taken a new direction with expansion into the United States, it is still very much Canada's game and one of the key matchups that we'll be keeping our eye on is the Terminator, Willie Pless and his attempt to try and stop Mike Clemens out of the Toronto backfield. Pless, the perennial all-star, he's in his 10th CFL season, 744 career tackles, he's just one sack away from 50 career quarterback sacks. The pinball, he won't beat you up, but he can dance. 39 touchdowns, almost 12,000 all-purpose yards. You know, it's going to be a great Saturday afternoon of football, so sit back and relax. We'll let these two guys go to work, Gord Miller and Glenn Suter. Darren, we have some retirement news to pass your way. After 10 seasons with the Saskatchewan Rough Riders, Glenn Suter, their all-time leader in interceptions, has retired. Glenn was a great cup champion with Saskatchewan back in 1989, a perennial fan favorite. Now he'll be one of our fan favorites joining us in the broadcast booth for the 1995 season. Glenn, welcome to TSN. What should be a great game today between Toronto and Edmonton. Both the Eskimos and Argos feature new quarterbacks, and for Toronto, the addition of Ken Austin is important, but so is the fact that he's reunited with Jeff Fairholm. That's right. Coach Mike Farragelli said that the moment they came into training camp, Jeff Fairholm and Ken Austin hooked up like they'd never missed a beat. So that's a combination that we're going to see a lot of throughout the year. Very successful for six seasons with the Saskatchewan Rough Riders, and they'll be clicking today. And uh, Jeff Fairholm averaged about 1,200 yards a season in receiving with Kent Austin as his quarterback. Now, a much different story for the Edmonton Eskimos. Kerwin Bell is the new quarterback here. He was the backup in Sacramento last year, but he's not being viewed as the savior here. No, he's not. He, everyone wants to wait and see what Kerwin Bell can do. He's a drop-back passer, which is different than Edmonton is used to. He's going to be in the pocket. I talked to Craig Hendrickson, guard for the Edmonton Eskimos, before the game. He said, the good thing is we know where he's going to be. The bad thing is we're going to have to hold our blocks a little longer, so the pressure is on the Edmonton O-line. And Kerwin Bell and the Eskimos do have history on their side. They've won eight straight against the Argos in this stadium. Toronto hasn't won here since 1986. Darren?